everyone has their favorite console of all time. Some say they love the PlayStation 2 due to the amount of timeless games on the system, and how revolutionary it was. Some might point to the Nintendo Switch due to the amount of games that are now made portable, and how many terrific games are in its library. But to that I say, yeah, that's cool, but does it have Wii Sports? So, yeah. If it isn't obvious by now, the Wii is one of, if not my favorite console of all time next to the Nintendo Switch. This system is far from perfect, due to the amount of shovelware found here, but as a whole, I truly loved the system growing up. It had many of the games I cherish even to this day, and even play quite often still. Super Mario Galaxy, Animal Crossing City Folk, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, they were all fantastic iterations of these franchises. They have, of course, made this console stick with me over the many years since its launch, and that's only scratching the surface. But there was one game that was included with the Wii that I don't think many who had one growing up had forgotten. Yup, that's right, we're talking about Wii Sports. Wii Sports was released in 2006 as a pack-in title with Nintendo Wii, so if you bought a Wii around this time when it was first hand, you likely still have this game lying around. I know so many people who never came off as gamers that actually have talked about how fun this game was in their past and how much they miss it for one reason or another. I remember booting it up since I was still waiting on my copy of Mario Galaxy at the time when I got my Wii and loving the heck out of it. This was the first game I played after creating my Miis and to be able to play them in a game was such a fun memory to have. Being able to put yourself in these experiences back then truly made this game and the Wii Maya stand out. I would spend hours with my friends making funny memes, putting them in boxing, golf, bowling, and other sports as we all just laughed the days away. It was so endearing and fun to play these sports and to even get semi-decent at them. It helped bring me together with a lot of my closest friends, even now. This is all from a pack and title by the way. This game should not have been more than a mere tech demo to me, but I and many others grew attached to this game. This is the first of the five games included, and who oh boy do I have memories of this one. I never was the biggest fan of tennis in most games, and never even got into the Mario Tennis games either. So honestly, this was a sport that I thought I would not remotely enjoy back then. But would you believe me if I said I actually enjoyed the sport? Because I did. Tennis is a rather simple sport filled with, well, hitting a ball back and forth with a racket. I kid. All in all, these sports don't really add anything super extra like the Mario sports games that a lot of you may be familiar with, but for some reason, the simplicity of this sport and the motion controls themselves made tennis feel super fun. You just waggle the Wii Remote around, hit a ball back and forth, and have a blast seeing who could get the better score. I usually play this mode by myself a lot, but with friends, I would truly have a blast, especially if three others can join. Of course, this game had a bit more depth than just waggling the Wii Remote. Depending on how you swing the remote, you can dictate the distance and how hard the ball is going to be hit based on the strength of the swing. You can also swing a fastball, which makes things a bit interesting. To swing a fastball, watch the ball when it reaches the peak when you serve, and then hit it. You will know when you did it right when you see a white trail behind the actual ball. The last thing I can think of is the court's actual color. By holding the 2 button down during the warning screen before starting, the court color will change to blue instead of green. Now that hitting balls with the rocket is out of the way, it's time to crack them wide open with wooden bats this time. Baseball is a simple mechanic. Send balls flying with bats and run to all three bases while the ball is airborne. Out of all the sports in this game, however, baseball has got some major differences from its real life counterpart. Yes, the game kept those godforsaken pop flies, a few different types of pitches, the ground rule double, and needing to aim for the sweet spot on the bat. For some reason, the Miis do not run around the bases when the ball is airborne though. 
Singles, doubles, and triples all depend on if the ball goes past the diamond and how long the fielders take to grab it. If it stays in the diamond, it's a guaranteed out, unless the ball's dropped. Then it's a single. The motion controls for baseball, I'll be blunt. There ain't much movement. If you're up at bat, you really only gotta hold the remote up and swing when the ball's in the right spot. If you're pitching, all you really gotta do is hold the A button, the B button, or both the buttons, and swing. Just don't throw the remote as well. Serve, all I do is throw that ball up in the air, and when I hold! Although, my one gripe with the Wii Sports version is that games only last three innings. Three. I'd have honestly liked a setting for anywhere between three and nine, though. Winning because of Mercy Rule is always refreshing, though. I'm really glad they kept that in. Had you had your fill of hitting balls yet? Yes? Okay, good. Because now you're getting ready to throw them. Bowling is the third sport up next in this game. It's simple enough to pick up at first, but if you learn the intricacies of the sport, it can be a bit of an interesting challenge. But let's hope you're not used to playing with guardrails on. Yeah, those guardrails have saved me one too many times when I played bowling as a kid, so don't worry, I know. Overall, the sport is just as friendly to pick up and play as its real-life counterpart, which makes the actual version found in this game arguably my favorite in any video game. Like with any of the other sports in here, motion controls are at the forefront. You simply need to hold the B button and move your arm back and swing underhand to make the ball go towards the pins in hopes of hitting them all. Just make sure you don't throw the Wii Remote at the TV. As a kid, I used to play bowling all the time, and to have a version of this sport in my house and be extremely fun was so great even now. But say you didn't move the ball correctly, and maybe you swing it the wrong way. Well, if you swing the ball backwards or drop the ball behind you, the me's in the background will do this. I think a lot of people did this on accident, but I used to do it deliberately all the time. Speaking of throwing in the wrong direction, if you tilted yourself left or right, you can actually try to knock pins down in another lane. That's right, you can actually try to play up to three games of bowling at the same time in your own home. Also, you don't have to accept what color your bowling ball is. Hold down one of the four D-pad buttons during that black loading screen and you'll get a different bowling ball color. I believe it was up for blue, left for red, down for green, and right for gold. That aside, this version of bowling was pretty addictive. The only other game to do that was a bowling game that A1 Games made for the PS1 back in... What? Late 90s? This is by far my favorite sport in this game. Hands down. I will be upfront and blunt right now. I am not the biggest fan of golf in real life. That being said, that doesn't mean I dislike the sport in this game. It is in fact, as I said, my favorite. Let me give you the rundown. You basically have to hit the ball into the hole in the least amount of hits possible. Sounds pretty straightforward, yeah? You have to use the Wii Remote like an actual golf club. You hold it down and swing it. Or you can be like me and just hold it straight forward while sitting down and move the Wii Remote down for each respective swing. Yeah, I know, I'm lazy. You have a variety of clubs to choose from that all dictate the distance of the ball and how far it goes. The driver sends the ball extremely long distances and is best for the first hit. The iron, which is solid for those nice medium distance shots. And lastly, the putter and wedge, which are great for those shorter distance shots or even just putting the ball into the hole. Each club is useful in its own way, but the wind distance and even hazards can also alter the way this game is played. This makes planning your shot all the more important, rather than just blindly hitting the ball and hoping it doesn't go out of bounds. You can do up to 9 holes in this version of golf, whereas in Wii Sports Resort, the amount of holes were doubled to 18. Plus the amount of clubs were doubled as well. I know this isn't a Wii Sports Resort video, but I thought I'd mention these little tidbits here just because. Between all the mechanics in this sport and how it makes real life golf way more fun than it has any right to be, that is if you aren't a Mario Golf game, I truly can say this is my favorite game in the package. It's time to take turns kicking each other's asses up and down the boxing ring. Boxing is a simple concept, but it can be pretty hard to master. You just punch each other in the face or body till one of you drops three times or until one of you can't get back up, period. In this game, however, there are no TKOs. You just keep dropping your opponent so the referee counts to 10. The higher skill level your opponent has, the more times they'll get back up. I've never seen someone get back up after 3 or 4 times though. 
being a motion controlled game, this one requires both the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. One for each fist. Either hold back and guard or go on the offense and start wailing till one of you drops. If you swing in from the side, your Mii will actually throw a decent hook, and if you swipe it upward, you can uppercut into your opponent's body. It's a bit of a process to get to the pro level, so I wish anyone luck with that. I also hope you don't have the misfortune of meeting Matt in the ring. Now with the five main sports covered, let's discuss the extra stuff. There were two things that are not just main sports, those being fitness games and training mode. These were little mini games in Wii Sports that you had to do various activities for in each respective sport. If you didn't know, this game does have a small training mode where you can practice and do these mini games. Some of these activities can be hitting golf balls and targets, trying to hit as many pins as possible in bowling, or just seeing how many home runs you can get in baseball. The idea was to get you accustomed to getting better at each respective game, and it's as simple as that. However, the fitness games factor in something new. Fitness Age. Yeah, it's nothing too significant, you play a series of three of the games in training mode, and based on how well you do will dictate your age. It goes anywhere from 20 to 80, so if you are ever wondering why maybe when you were 11 years old and you had a fitness age of say 40 or 80, well, now you sort of know. Once you get your skill level to 1000 or higher, you are basically at the pro level now. Congratulations! There are only a few bonuses though. In bowling, your ball will just basically have a diamond design. In tennis, you'll be awarded a silver racket. In boxing, after you defeat Matt, you press the 2 button during the loading screen and you'll be wearing silver gloves. Also, the Mies you play against change depending on skill level in each sport too. Some Mies might actually be pro baseball or tennis players, but they might actually suck at bowling or boxing. Who knows? I forgot to mention, the higher skill level you'll have in tennis and boxing, the bigger crowd you'll draw in. Get to pro level and you'll have damn near a full house. Wii Sports is one of the games I think has aged wonderfully overall. This game is filled with nostalgia for me, and the fact I still actively play this game with friends, and even just by myself, really echoes just how fun this title is to me. I know the Wii is long in the past, but I still can't let go of the system in the games that shaped a good portion of my childhood. I know we should be praising Animal Crossing City Folks, Smash Brothers, or other games on the console, but the addition of this little pack and title and the memories and fun this game brings me puts it up there with some of my favorite video games of all time. Each of the sports was a great showing of the technology within the Wii Remote at the current time, and I remember being stunned when I was a kid. Granted, now it's still fine, but I weirdly like these controls still and hold them with a certain irreplaceable fondness. From tennis, baseball, bowling, golf, and boxing, this game was truly a must-have for the Wii if it wasn't already bundled in. A lot of people love this game, and to me, it is the easiest game to make friends over if possible. So with that all said, make sure you take a break and drink some water, because you gotta stay hydrated.